Good evening and welcome to the best of Groucho. These are shows you said you'd like to see again, all taken from You Bet Your Life. I think you're going to especially like this one tonight. Here he is, Groucho Marx, in You Bet Your Life. Presented by DeSoto and the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers of America. And now, here he is, the one, the only... Well, here I am again with $1,500 for one of our couples. And if any of them say the secret word, the duck will come down and pay him $100. The word tonight is food. Okay, duck, back to the cornfield. George, who's first? Groucho, Mrs. Irene Leff and Mr. Robert Back are waiting to talk to you. So, folks, you come in, please, and meet... Groucho Marx. Welcome to your Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and divide a hundred dollars. It's a common word, something you see every day. <laughs> Irene left and Robert's back, eh? <laughs> Irene, I'll start with you. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Forest Park, uh, Illinois, Groucho. That's oh. about ten miles the other side of Chicago. Oh, I know. I used to play in the summer park <laughs> there in Vaudeville <laughs> years ago. It's <laughs> on the north side. Do you mind telling us how old you are, Irene? Believe it or not, Groucho, I'm 59. 59? How will I believe it? <laughs> We don't fool around on this show, huh? <laughs> There's no bootlicking up here. <laughs> well, your name is Robert Back? That's right, Groucho. Well, uh, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> You're not angry, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> not at all. Sorry. How old are you, Bob? Uh, well, I'm 20 right now, Groucho. Well, uh, how old are you when I asked you? I aged the best. You say the age rapidly, didn't you? <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, well, uh, I'm one of the seldom seen uh, uh, native people of Hollywood. Oh. What kind of a job do you have, Bob? Well, I'm uh, not working. I'm a student at the University of Southern California. Right now. No. How long have you been going to college? Are you a senior? I've been going to college about three and a half years. I'm a freshman right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice, I think. <laughs> You must love it there, huh? You can attach to it. You've been in college three years and you're still a freshman? Well, You're, you're uh, just barely holding your own, aren't you? <laughs> well, what do you play on the football team? Left back? No, uh, perhaps I'd better explain myself. Well, well, I should think so. No, about my first three and a half years, I worked as a singer and other little theatrical things, and uh, my schooling in college, of course, was studying voice and music and related things such as dramatics and so forth. But however, uh, at the beginning of this semester, I started in architecture, so therefore, I'm a freshman. Why did you... <laughs> I think there's a sophomore up in the audience. <laughs> Either that or she's laying an egg, I don't know. I know I am, I don't know whether she is. <laughs> Why, don't, why did you give up singing for architecture? Oh, I haven't by no means given it up. I plan to combine both, of course, <laughs> studying the architecture and singing at the same time. Well, you ought to have a brilliant future. I'll bet there aren't five singing architects in the whole country. <laughs> sure. Frank Lloyd Wright is about the only one I know. And he sings tenor most of the time. Irene, let's find out some more about you. Do you have any kids? No, I haven't. Children? Any I don't have any kids, Groucho, but I have some children. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, well, how old are these goats? Well, <laughs> I have a... Uh, Robert is um, 39 and Howard is 36 and Melvin's 23. Oh, same age as Benny, huh? They're all grown, huh? <laughs> They're all grown. And now you're beginning to take things easy, huh? Margot takes up most of my time now. You I mean you have a daughter named Margot? Yes, uh, Groucho, I have a 15-month-old... Uh, well, that's wonderful for a girl. How old did you yeah. say you were, 57? Uh, well, this is a chimp, a 15-month-old chimp. A chimp? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, my daughter's a little like a chimp. Uh, what's she like? Could you describe her? Yes, well, so I have her right in the back here. My husband has her. Your husband? Well, let's bring her out and let's, let's see her. Huh? Shake hands, boy. Oh, girl. <laughs> Can she do any tricks? Uh, yes, Groucho. She, um, 
she sits in her high chair. She lives in the house with us. She sits in her high chair and she eats with her spoon and her fork and she drinks her milk out of a cup. Oh, that's wonderful, then. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the last um, kid you're going to have, I suppose. Would you like to? Would you like to have her kiss you? Kiss me? <laughs> well, you see, my manicurist is watching, and she gets very jealous when I go around kissing strange baboons. <laughs> A sleepy baboon, I like a tune. Margo, it's been nice knowing you. I'd like to have you take part in the quiz, but that wouldn't be fair to our other contestants. <laughs> So, Margo, you just keep your trap shut, even if you know the answer. <laughs> now, you selected the musical category. These are all top tunes of the last 20 years. What are you going to start with? Um, the uh, 80. 80. 80. Oh. You better ask Margo first. Oh, Margo, is it okay? <laughs> she says, yes. <"Yeah." laughs> all right, this was one of the hits of 1935. Give me the... <laughs> This was one of the hits of 35. Give me the title of it. Play, Jack. What is it? Oh, until I once again win. That's right. You now have $80 more. You now I have $180. Now I have $180. How much? Uh, 70. 70? 80? Okay, 80. 80. You had 80. You had 80. You want 80 again? It's easier. Oh, no, 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 okay, 90. 90. Sonny Schuyler added English words to this Latin tune. You tell me the name of it. Uh, it's best of my mucho. Sing it. Sing it. <laughs> I don't believe I know the words. You now have $270. Now what are you going to go for? Mm -hmm. One of the hits of the Broadway musical Pajama Game was this song. Let's see if you can identify it, and I want you to sing it. Play it, Jack. Mm -hmm. Please save me from singing it. Okay. <laughs> you now have $340. This song is an import from France in 1945. Give me the title of it. Symphony, speak to me of love. Now, how much did they win? Uh, All the way, $440. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> Goodbye, Margo, and be, and be sure that you get part of this swag. <laughs> he recognizes a kindred soul. <laughs> or she. Well, thanks and good luck from the DeSoto oh, Plymouth Deal. Hasta the vista. Hasta the vista. Miss Maria Del Socorro Padilla is waiting to speak to you, Groucho. Oh, well, goody, goody. And her partner is a special guest, um, one of the all-time favorites of Hollywood, Mr. Hoot Gibson. So well, Mimo, welcome. would you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx? Welcome, welcome to the DeSoto Plymouth Dealer. Say the secret word, and you each get $50. It's a common word, something you see every day. Maria del Socorro Padilla, huh? And Hoot Gibson? Hoot, it's nice to see you, Hoot. Nice to see you. Thank you, Groucho. Nice to see you, Hoot, old boy. This is quite a thrill for me, Hoot. Last time I saw you, you were making a personal appearance at, I think, the Roxy Theater in New York, or the Capitol Theater. Well, huh? Boy, what a crowd there was. Too. I still remember how I enjoyed your Western movies when I was just a little kid. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Groucho. I enjoyed your pictures when I was a kid. <laughs> Actually, when he was chasing Indians, I was chasing school teachers, <laughs> and vice versa. I'll get around to you in a minute, Hoot. I want to corral this little filly over here. Isn't she cute? Eh? Maria del Socorro Padilla. Huh? How much is that in United States currency? Uh, well, Padilla doesn't mean anything, Groucho, but Socorro means help. Well, Maria, you're a beautiful girl, and I'll be as helpful as I can. Where are you from? Sweden? <laughs> I'm from Culiacán, Sinaloa. Is that so? Well, is that in... Uh... Mexico? Oh, Mexico. Yes, huh? sir. Oh. A wonderful 
state. Well, I must be if you're a sample of what comes out of that. Well, one of the important things is the agriculture, and they raise uh, tomatoes. Mm. They raise a pretty good tomato this time. Well, it's famous for his beautiful woman, too. Yeah, well, I should think so. Are you married? No, gracias. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Uh, what are you giggling about, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Is he, is he with you tonight? No, gracias. Where he's, is he? He's in Mexico. Well, why are you living up here while your boyfriend lives in Mexico? Well, I'll make more dollars up here, and he'll be making more pesos on there. More pesos? Yes. Oh. Pesos, not pesos. Oh. Well, when do you... <laughs> what did I say? You said, well, pesos mean kisses. Kisses? But pesos mean, you know, like dollars. Oh. Well, if you have enough pesos, you can get enough pesos. <laughs> Well, Hoot, old boy, let's uh, find out a few things about How'd you get the name Hoot? Well, that's not too long a story, Grasso. You see, when I was a kid at school in Tecama, that's in Nebraska, by the way. It is? We used to go back in these caves and, uh, you know, look for Hoot Owls. Well, it's a good thing they called you Hoot instead of Owl. I'm not kidding. Today, you'd be a drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first crack the picture business, Hoot? You're trying to find out how old I am? No, I can find out by the way you're looking at her, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Gosso, it was 1910. I was That's when you broke in? That's right. First picture I worked in was 1910. I was the first stuntman in the business here. What kind of salary did you get in those days? Well, <laughs> all right, I'll give you that one, too. I got two and a half for myself and two and a half for my horse. Two hundred and fifty dollars a no, week? No, two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> and two fifty for the horse? That's right. Well, you were a very big star. How many pictures did you star in Hoot? Well, as near as we could figure, Groucho, I made two hundred silent pictures, and of course we know seventy-two sound. Mm -hmm. Do you like uh, Western movies, Maria? Yes, I enjoy them. Mm -hmm. very much. Is there anything you care to ask, Hoot Gibson? After all, he's one of the greatest Western stars of all time. I wonder if he can sing. Can he sing? What a question to ask a cowboy star like Hoot Gibson. Can a dog bark? <laughs> Hoot, knock off a few bars of Home on the Range for this little tenderfoot here. Are you kidding? I can't even whistle. <laughs> well, you're a very interesting couple, and I wish I could say as much for myself. <coughs> I certainly got a kick out of your horse, and I'm sure your millions of fans enjoyed seeing you again, Hoot. Now let's play You Bet Your Life. In the race for the $2,000, the first couple won $440, and the secret word is food. All right, now you selected small towns and cities of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. 100? Okay. 100? All right, and what state are these towns and cities? Napoleon, Bowbells, Devil's Lake, Fargo, Cavalier, and McCluskey. Should I say it? Yes. Yeah, North Dakota? North Dakota is right. <laughs> <laughs> and you now have $200. Imagine a girl from Mexico knowing where Fargo is. <laughs> Boy, they say they teach him well down there. What are you going to try now? 90. 90. Mm -hmm. Tyrone, Redding, McKeesport, Oil City, Pottsville, and Evansburg. What's the state? Pennsylvania. You ought to give part of that money back. That's too easy. No, no. And you now have $290. Or well, now you're going to try what, 80? 80. 80. Mm -hmm. In what state are these towns and cities? Evergreen, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, Talladega, Tuskegee, Prattville, and Guntersville. Alabama. Alabama. Alabama's right. $370. Now, I presume you're going for 70 is that right? Yes. Here are the towns and cities. Logan, Provo, St. George, Kanab, and Ogden. What is the state? Utah. Utah. Utah is correct. <laughs> Wind up with $440. I want to congratulate the entire Mexican school system. You're one of the most <laughs> magnificent students I've ever seen. Gracias, thank Thanks and good luck in the DeSoto Plymouth dealers. We have a married couple for you to meet now. 
Mr. and Mrs. William Dessert. Folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Married couple for dessert. Welcome for the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers. <laughs> Say the secret word and take home an extra $101. It's a common word, something you see every day. <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. William Dessert, huh? Well, it isn't dessert. It's desert, like the Sahara. Or well, I just had dinner, so it's time for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> what is your first name, Mrs. Desert? It's uh, Catherine. Catherine, huh? <laughs> How long have you two been married, Bill? Uh, Fourteen years. Fourteen years. You've had the seven-year itch twice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you said you look happy enough. Uh, how's the marriage waking up? Well, if every marriage was like ours, why, it'd sure be a happy one. Well, that's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of the usual Cold War, this is more like the spirit of Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what happened to the spirit of Geneva? <laughs> Catherine, how old are you? I'm 33. And Bill? 36. Do you have a family, Catherine? Yes, we have 11 children. <laughs> well, just be patient. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> and you wish all marriages were like yours, Bill? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you realize that 10 million housewives just fainted? <laughs> Eleven kids in each family, we'd have to have a new cabinet post. <laughs> Secretary of Pablum. <laughs> well, supporting this brood must present a few problems, Bill. Uh, what kind of a job have you got? Well, I have my own business, the Inglewood Out Upholstery in Inglewood, and then I work for a, a division of the Garrett Corporation, Air Research Aviation Service Company. Mm. Do you have a large house? Yes, we, we uh, have a big 12-room house and nursery for the girls and, or for the babies and a dormitory for the boys and a dormitory for the girls and a fenced-in play yard. And it's all very convenient. We just have one problem with the... Uh, by the time the baths and the laundry's done, there's no uh, hot water left. <laughs> it's always cold. <laughs> no, it shouldn't bother him. He's been on hot water for 14 years. <laughs> How is the housewife organized? Do you use the two platoon system, or <laughs> one for offense and one for defense? No, uh, we're pretty well organized. Uh, you are? Yeah, there's... Uh, you are, but how is the house organized? <laughs> well, there's, uh, like, for the food, why, there's a... Uh... Ooh. You said the secret word, really, uh, food, I mean. Yeah. So you each get $50. Uh, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well organized yeah. at their house. <laughs> Same as every other house. <laughs> well, tell us, what is it like at mealtime? Well, it, it takes a lot of... The Royal of, Gorge, I mean. It takes a lot of food, and, it, and it's... Uh, well, Bill does the shopping, and he brings it home by the box load. Seven dozen of eggs every week, and uh, three loaves of bread a day, and maybe about 25 pounds of meat. It takes a lot of food. <laughs> Must be a lot of white cooking for a mob like that. Why don't you take them all to Romanov's restaurant? <laughs> you could get out for around $3,000. <laughs> Well, suppose you go to a movie. What do you do for babysitters? Do you hire a squad of Marines? Well, no, we just have one babysitter, but he is a football player. Why do you have a football player? Are these kids unruly? <laughs> a little at times. Why do you keep the kids entertained on Sundays? You go out on picnics? Well, we usually have company in on Sundays. Well, it's always a picnic. Company, yeah? yeah. <laughs> well, with that mob, how can you tell when you have company? <laughs> It doesn't bother Bill, I don't imagine. Uh. He sees a new face in the living room, he just claims another deduction. Uh. <laughs> well, it sounds like a wonderful family. Where are the kids now? Do you think they're all sound asleep? Uh, Rocho, uh, if I may interrupt. Um, well, you certainly may, George. You <laughs> invariably do. <laughs> well, uh, when I knew the people were coming, I asked them if it would be possible to bring their children, and they did, and they're backstage. And, uh, well, bring them out!
Well, you certainly hit the jackpot. <laughs> You've got a family to be proud of. Sit on the floor while your mother and father try to win some money. In the race for the $2,000, the first couple and the second couple are tied with $440 each. Well, you selected sports. And remember, the more the question is worth, the harder it is. Now, what do you want to start with? All you kids have a chance to answer this. Yeah, we'll go for broke. <laughs> we'll go for a hundred. You're going for a hundred? Yeah. Well, bring mine out, too. I'll huh? let her get in there. <laughs> Come on out, Melinda, and sit with the kids. Huh? Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Sit down there with the kids. <laughs> All right. For a hundred dollars, a highlight of the social season in England is the English Derby, or Derby. At what famous track, a few miles from London, is the English Derby held? Churchill Downs. I think so. Churchill Downs. Any of you kids uh, want to take a whack at this? Okay. Churchill Downs. No, I'm sorry. Oh. It's, it's, it's named after an old salt. It's Epsom Downs. Oh. <laughs> Well, you still have half your hundred dollars, you have fifty dollars. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll still go. Ninety? Mm-hmm. What major college football team is nicknamed the Crimson Tide? Uh, Al it's Alabama. Huh? Alabama, right! Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> you now have one hundred forty dollars. Eighty? Eighty? With what sport are these men associated? Sam Jones, Gene Connolly, Al Kaline, and Jim Pearsall. Baseball. Baseball is right. <laughs> you now have two hundred twenty dollars. Oh. oh well, 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 well. well. Yeah, you come up here, huh? You're not going to cry, are you? Oh, gosh, she's heavy, huh? You're next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for 70? 70? What is the professional football team from Baltimore called? The Colts. The Colts is right. <laughs> and you wind up with $290. Well, thanks and good luck in the DeSoto Plymouth Uh Groucho, uh, just a minute. We have a, a surprise for oh. all you kids. Uh, Here's something for you. Well, as a matter of fact, we have... A little DeSoto automobile, and we have one for each of the children. Is that right? Yes, one, oh, of course. One for each we of the children. One for each of the we'll children. give them to you right after you get we'll off stage here. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. And that means that our first two couple uh, Mrs. Leff and Mr. Back, Miss Padilla and Mr. Hoot Gibson with $440. In just one minute, we'll get the chance at the $1,500 question. And here are the winning couples, Groucho, all tied for the $1,500 question. Come on back in here, please. We uh, have given you all these slips of paper. Uh, you will decide upon an answer between you, and if uh, both couples get the answer right, you'll divide the money, money between you two. One of the greatest advances in medical science was the development of antiseptic surgery in 1865. For $1,500, who was the great English surgeon who founded modern antiseptic surgery? Write it down. Is the answer? Let me see the answers. No, I'm sorry. Uh, you had Mad Anthony Wayne here or something, huh? <laughs> Sir Joseph Lister is correct. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Irene Left and Robert Back win $1,500. Good luck from the Soda Plymouth Dealers of America, and thanks to all of you for showing up, and good night. Good night, folks. Go in and see your DeSoto Plymouth dealer tomorrow. And when you do, 
Tell them Groucho sent you. This is George Fenneman signing off with a message from the National Safety Council. See that children play only in approved play areas, never in the street or near moving traffic.